on top of our clubhouse in Aguadilla, Puerto Rico. And this is our uh, prototype uh, rooftop aquaponics system. Uh, we start here with the fish. Um, the day the, the system is only like four days old. Um, so we don't we don't have it all balanced out with plants yet. The we put the fish in barely three days ago. Um, so the water isn't cleared up yet. Um, this is how it works. This water from the fish tank flows out to this sump tank. Uh, water is coming in to the sump tank as well as it's coming directly into the fish tank through this through this pipe here. It's coming from those grow beds and raft systems. Raft systems here in Puerto Rico are a good system to have because uh, the high temperatures um, it buffers the heat, um, the swings in temperature. So we're having um, an experiment. We're going to put the floating raft on the bottom. The for the reason is that also we have a lot of light. We have too too much light. Um, that's primarily up the temperatures. Um, this will be our gravel up on top. Um, so we're using biochar to lighten the load for the roof. Um, so uh, we still need to get more charcoal. Um, we filled up that one over there. And over here, we decided to grow duckweed. So this is um, as a standpipe with no uh, bell siphon on it. There, there's guppies growing, uh, living in there. And we're growing um, duckweed this grassy thing, um, these lily, lily pads, we're going to be growing some uh, uh, ozola, which is uh, uh, another thing that's endemic for here for Puerto Rico. We're also growing this green stuff that the tilapia love and we throw it in there every now and then. So here's another uh, raft system on the bottom and another raft system over here. This one over here uh, is gravel um, based on, it's, uh, I should say it's not gravel, it's um, biochar. This is uh, vegetable car carbon, um, it's natural from wood. Uh, then we have our clarifier tank over here. So the water is being pumped. Uh, lift. And this is the water comes in here um, because of being a, a wide tank. Um, solids fall and we collect them through this spout over here. So water will travel through this net and then cross into these pipes and, and now here. Three tanks in uh, parallel on the top, three tanks in par parallel at the bottom that receive the water from the top. Then that water just flows through overflow pipes, such as the one that you see here. And those will eventually end up back over here in our sump pump area and coming from the fish tank. So that's our system for now. Um, Thanks for watching.